So we've all heard of memory on the computer and the Apple Mac actually handles memory very well. And what happens is, is when you're using an application or opening up files, you're filling up that memory. And when you close that file or that application, it should give you your memory back, freeing up memory to be used somewhere else. And sometimes, even though Mac OS X is a very good operating system, it doesn't always give you the memory back that you want. So one way that you could clear your memory is to do a restart, that's or shut down and start it up again, and that will free it up. If you're using up lots of memory, you might see things like the spinning wheel and things like that. So if you've been using a lot of applications, opening and closing a lot of files, or been on for a long time, then you might want to clear your memory. And one way you can actually monitor your memory is to use something called the Activity Monitor. Now, you could find that in your Applications folder and Utilities, but I'm just going to click on the Spotlight up at the top here, and I'm going to type in Activity Monitor, and you'll see that when I do, it comes up there and I just press Enter. And you'll see here, it's giving me a listing of all the processors. Down at the bottom I've got CPU, which is the processor and how much of that is being used here, and you can see it's got percentages. System memory, which we're going to come back to in just a moment. Disk activity, and that's how hard it's actually working and how much data it's transferring. Disk usage, that's how much space you've actually got left. So you can see here it says space utilized, 375.38 gigabytes and space free and so on. So there's also a network showing you your network activity, how much is being transferred, say, over the internet. So I'm just going to go back to the system memory, and I've actually got quite a bit of memory in this computer. You'll see here it says free memory, that's 10.72, it's quite a lot, I've got 16 gigabytes in here. As I said, putting memory in is actually something that will enhance how quickly you can work, because you can have more things open, and it doesn't have to struggle to work and it works quite fast. So if your computer's running a bit slow, you might want to consider putting more memory in. And I've got a tutorial coming up on that soon. So there's how much memory I've got free, 10.72. This is how much I've used. So how do I clear the memory to actually give me more free memory? Well, I'm going to go back to my spotlight up at the top here, and I'm going to type in terminal. It comes up at the top, I'm just going to press enter, and it does come up at the top here, and I'm just going to type in here, you can see there's a command line, I'm just going to type purge and press enter. I'm going to just waiting here, I'll know when it's done because that will fill in, and did you see that, how the memory jumped up to 13.35 and that is now finished. That was about 3 gigabytes of RAM, that's quite a bit. Remember I've got 16, that's quite a lot of space there, if you had a less amount of memory that could make a really big difference to how fast you actually work. So let me just remind you about that again. I'm just going to close that. I go up to Spotlight, type in Terminal, which was already there, press Enter. It comes up. I'm just going to move that across to here. And as I said, I just type in Purge. It will clear that memory up. So that is how you can actually get back that extra bit of memory if you've been working a lot during the day, particularly large files then this is a really good idea.